day, Nigerians. Uh, Maz is okay here. Um, update on the um, passport incident in London. That's uh, the issue with Jeffrey, the guy who destroyed the cars at the Nigerian embassy. I think about five or six cars. We've made about two videos um, about him. You know, look at the picture here. So, and um, there is an update. Uh, one, it is very unlikely that the Nigerian embassy will charge him. They appear to have developed cold feet, as we the information we have. Why? Because they um, have discovered that Nigerians all over the world are angry. And if they go ahead to prosecute this guy, more is likely to happen. Now, I think, and I thank every Nigerian that have spoken out, that have, you know, come online to vent their anger and their frustration as to what the embassy and the, how the embassy treats you. I mean, this is what we need because these things that people, you know, these things happen and people take them to heart and people do nothing uh, basically makes them to continue in this same line of madness. By, but by the virtue of the fact that Nigerians actually, for the first time, it, it appears that Nigerians in diaspora, um, you know, actually supported what the guy did. And some, you know, within the comment sections, threatened to do more if they ne if that didn't change. Now, the greater good news is the Nigerian High Commission in London has issued a statement yesterday saying that from the 24th of June 2019, which is tomorrow being Wednesday, every single application done via the embassy that you should have a self-addressed envelope um, recorded mail that will allow them to send these passports back to you by mail. Again, that is battle one. If you go back to my previous two videos and the letter sent to the embassy, these are things people have been asking for. These are some things I spoke about here. I said the reason why Jeffrey did what he did is the frustration that was caused by human contact. And that human contact is being amplified by a gunje and the demand for bribe. That's why. That is the only plausible reason that I can think of that would make an embassy to, you know, wanting people to come physically. Every single embassy, every single high commission, you know, really want people to keep away because it reduces the risk of attack. It reduces the risk of even terrorism. You know, they do not want to provoke people. They do not, you know, it, because that's why when you drop your, 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 uh, like embassies in Nigeria, for instance, they always want to, you know, they, most of them is going into Dropbox. They don't want physical contact. That's why they can, you can pay them 200,000 Naira, for instance, and they can always tell you, sorry, at this instance, you, they, they haven't granted you visa. You can knock your head on the wall, but at least you can destroy something. You destroy your house, not at the embassy. But imagine if embassies all over the world or maybe in Nigeria actually deny people visa instantly. Then you know how uh, angry people or agitated people could be. So I think in this case, the Nigerian High Commission has taken the right decision, though it came late because if they had this process of sending back your passport in place from the onset, this incident that led to the destruction of about six cars wouldn't have happened. This is an avoidable mistake. Okay, now they have issued the, uh, the statement yesterday at the um, Nigerian High Commission uh, website saying um, everyone take notes from the 24th, this is the new procedure. Self-addressed envelope registered, maybe first class, I don't know. Uh, however you want to do it, just register, make sure it's signed for. Now, that's equally to inform every Nigerian if you're in the UK and you want to <clears throat> go and um, get your visa, make sure 
within your application, uh, um, you know, when you submit your application, do your um, physical capture that you submit that. Do not get entangled with them. Many people that have gone there, you know, had I haven't seen anyone that had a good testimony to talk about the embassy. Now, beyond what the High Commission in London, which is which serves the whole United Kingdom, beyond what they've said, the work is not done. We have to push in every country you live in the diaspora. You people need to push for your country to join the same. Take, for instance, isn't it a madness that if we take Germany, for instance, Germany is a very, Germany is even bigger than the United Kingdom. You know, that you want someone for because of passports to, to come from Berlin, uh, sorry, but, uh, the, um, uh, the uh, embassy is in Berlin. You want someone to come from the north, the, or maybe the farthest part of north, Flensburg or Kiel or Bremen or Hanover, just drive into Berlin. That takes about six, seven hours to go and get a freaking passport that probably has no, you know, just for the sake of being a Nigerian. It adds no value whatsoever. There are very few countries that will allow you to come in visa-free. Or someone who comes from Munich, you know, which is equally um, a very, very far distance to travel to come into and pick passports. So this is a call for other Nigerians, wherever you are, that you start demanding that this be uh, pushed in this way. Now, on our own part, we're still going to push it, you know, uh, through the Nigerian um, uh, uh, Diaspora Commission, I think that is uh, headed by uh, Abike Dabri. They should, you know, this should not only be applicable to UK, this should be applicable to every single um, country be it Dubai, uh, United Arab Emirates, be it Malaysia, Singapore, wherever Nigerians live, they must be able to, you know, go in, do a physical capture. And actually, you know, when we talk about physical capture, actually, it's just that we have a very, very disjointed system. That's why we still need people to physically come and capture. Many people in the United Kingdom, for instance, <clears throat> they do their passport without any physical capture. You, you do a photo passport, send it, you know, go to the post office. The post office verifies, yes, this is you. That's your local post office. Your local post office could be one or two minutes away from you. They verify, yes, this is you. They, you know, uh, take the details from you. I think you pay about eight pounds or thereabout. Then they send this away. Then it goes to the pass, uh, the um, the home office. Home office finishes your passport, sends this back to you. You see, one, we haven't lost any man hour um, going to work, you know, uh, missing work, because you could do this on a Saturday. Post office opens on a Saturday. Now, you haven't, you, you do not have any physical contact for somebody to upset you because you've done the application online or you've taken the form, then you filled it in, you've gone into a post office. The only thing the post office lady or man they're doing is to check that, yes, this is you, you know, looks at the picture yes this picture is you and that's it you know signs uh, the attestation yes i can confirm that this is the person the best of my knowledge maybe you know makeup or he basically make up however that is so it sends this out and the moment it sends that out within the timeline that the embassy has given that you're going to get this back you get it back and that's it voila dust it but suddenly in Nigeria, you know, many of us actually, you know, because we haven't gotten there that, you know, the facilities to help do that. Yes, go to the embassy, go to the uh, immigration office. But people should have the opportunity. You know, if you live within the city of London, maybe you work in, in the city, you know, it's easier for you maybe during your lunch break to just walk in, grab it, go home. Then in that case, you probably don't need to waste the money for post. But someone coming from Manchester, from Scotland, from Wales, you know, uh, from Manchester or from Liverpool, are you going to drive for four, five, six hours to get in there? Come on. That is the definition of insanity. But... You know, um, thank goodness that's happened in this way. Now the embassy has done the right thing. Okay, so 
the you know like i said before uh the issue with the guy that you know uh, escalated the whole thing appears that he's not going to be prosecuted and if they don't oh, i think many of us are still pushing for the guy to take action yes they're not going to do that because if they do they're going to be exposing themselves to more the question and that is where i still stand for the you know i stand the question that why would his passport find its way in the social media is still pertinent? That is the question every single reasonable human being must ask. They still have his passport. Suddenly, the the the, the bio page of the uh, of his passport without tipexing or hiding any uh, personal information, just being circulated on the internet. Now. The next thing that we collectively must demand from Nigerian High Commission is whoever sent that data out must be publicly punished. Justice must not be, be done, but justice must be seen to be done. So we, you know, we have to now, the first battle is won that we can now, uh, people can now go in and do, um, uh, you know, drop uh, envelopes, then they send it back. But we have to demand that whoever did that must be prob publicly punished. At least if that person is not sacked, the person, we must at minimum see a letter of suspension, that that person is suspended. Because until such happens, the madness that happens will continue to happen. And there is no a na no nation on earth would develop, would, you know, join committee of nations that take individuals, individual rights and uh, collective rights serious. So that is a demand that we'll be pushing forward again. So thank you for uh, watching and thank you for staying tuned. Um, this is Maz Izzaki just updating us on what has happened in this case. So all fingers crossed, we we'll think more information will be coming our way. As I promised, if there are developments, I will be updating us. Remain blessed. Peace out.